All right, so I'm uh, lacing up my spools and getting ready to uh, get those installed. Um, what I have here is some um, new cable that is um, going to be much stronger than the original stuff that was installed previously. This is a braided super line um, called Dyneema. And uh, it's about the same diameter as the original stuff. I carefully chose that um, to minimize the steps per millimeter adjustment that maybe might need to be made. Uh, if any at all, uh, I'm aiming to keep the factory settings in your um, Duet firmware um, the default settings from the factory. Uh, I highly recommend anytime you replace your cable, even with the factory stuff, uh, go ahead and double check your steps per millimeter and make sure that um, your travels are uh, still accurate. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I have a new cable that uh, should hold up much better than the Kevlar. This Dyneema is, is stronger than Kevlar. Um, and uh, it's very abrasion resistant as well. So, um, so that's what I chose. And it's like I said, it's a very uh, similar diameter. So it will uh, take about the same amount of wraps. Uh, and uh, the travels should be about the same. And I'm lacing it up right now. So what you get, I'm going to send two lengths of this um, with each kit. And uh, there's two 12-foot uh, lengths. And uh, you're going to need to reuse your spools. Uh, so what you have here is you want to make sure you, when you take them off, you label um, left and right. Um, unless you're going to recalibrate your steps per millimeter, it's not that big a deal. Uh, they're pretty similar. Uh, but I just recommend not mixing them up. Keep your right and your left labeled so you know which one's which. Um, so you're going to get 12 feet, uh, two of these cables that are 12 feet long. And uh, one will be for the right stepper and one will be for the left. And uh, so what I've done is I've la I've marked the cable at one third. So at the four foot mark, there's a black mark right there. So um, that is the mark that you want inside the spool. It's not that critical, uh, but. You want to hide the mark inside the spool so when you lace it through come out the other side you know just put the black mark inside the spool before you begin winding it um, or wrapping it um, so <clears throat> and when you when you install the cable uh, what I'm doing is I'm installing it short side down um, on both spools and then when you go to wind them, you want to wind so the short side will be on the bottom. You want to wind the left side looking down from the top counterclockwise. So that's the short length coming up from the bottom counterclockwise. You want to do about eight wraps. And then the long side, you want to go clockwise down about eight wraps so that the two ends meet in the middle um, so you want the short side to be on the right and then the long side to be on your left on your le on your left spool now on the right spool you still lace the short side through to the bottom and then you wrap it the opposite direction so coming up from the bottom you want the short side to go clockwise 
eight wraps. And then the long side, which is on the top going down, you want to go counterclockwise. So on your right spool, you want the short end of your cable to be on the inside, the left side of your right spool, and the long part of your cable you want to be on the right side of your spool. Left side, we'll go over it again. We want the long side to be on the left and the short side to be on the right. So we're going eight wraps per uh, length of cable uh, until the cable, the, the two ends meet in the middle. Um, so then you'll end up with basically your spool like this and there's going to be clips that I'll have, I can also include that will uh, hold the cable on when you're done. And the short length is uh, on the inside of my right spool. So you can see the tag end right there. And then the long end is still on the right. So that's how you want to lace your cables in. So short side, you find the short side, find the mark basically find the mark which is right there and just you know pull it through until you find the end and you'll see that it's uh, from the mark one side is shorter take that short side go all the way through the spool uh, it's hard to do one-handed but uh yeah, you basically just want to thread it all the way through. You can see right through that spool. You want to go all the way through so that the black line is in the center of the spool. And then lace your short end back up through that angled hole there. And then it comes out right here. Uh, and that's the bottom short side. So it's about as easy as I can make it. It's it's somewhat uh, you know it's somewhat of a pain to to wrap cables, but uh, it's really not that big a deal once you understand what you're doing. And uh, so that's what you want to do: uh, get the get the cables uh, laced through and wrapped, and then put the clip on to hold it uh, all your wraps in place while you uh, get them installed on your stepper uh, with the stepper brackets here <clears throat> that i have um, these allow you to put your spool on i just snug it on there for a little bit here these allow you to uh, put your spool on and then you can slide the stepper in like this uh, rather than having to fish it through the hole and then come up so that's the nice thing about the stepper brackets you can slide them on like that um, and it's a little easier to install well, that's basically what I've been trying to do with this kit is design it to be as simple and less least amount of pain to work with and install as possible uh, and that's basically the number one thing that I've tried to keep in mind and make cable breakage not so much of a headache uh, and yeah it still is there's really no way around it but uh, you know it's gonna be a whole lot easier dealing with with this than the original uh, system so anyway uh, I'll get another video here shortly as I progress with the installation take care guys